Hey guys, welcome to the Liberal Hive Mind, where we just happen to always have the receipts. It's like I always say, folks, it's hard to lie in the digital age. It's actually very difficult. Well, that is if you care about keeping an honest track record. Well, obviously the political class and certainly the Democrat Party don't seem to have too much of an interest in keeping a clean, honest track record. The question is, when's the camel's back gonna break? Democrats think that they could just keep lying, keep pushing misinformation and garbage propaganda, and that it's never gonna catch up to them. Well, I'm not too sure that that's the case. We just keep collecting receipts and receipts and receipts. And I truly believe that eventually, I mean, at some point after we keep doing this work, at some moment, a mass awakening is going to occur. And honestly, I'm hoping that that day is today. It's been a really long time since we spoke about this topic, but we're actually going back to the Obamagate scandal. Well, Leftoids told us it was all a conspiracy theory that there was no evidence that Trump was lying. Obama would never. Well, it turns out that there actually is some there there. It turns out that the Democrats were simply playing cover were lying. And let's just say now we have the receipts. We have the receipts in the sense that we have all the clips of them lying for months on end. And we also have the receipts to disprove all their garbage claims. In other words, we've got some stuff to get into. So let's roll the tape. All right, friends. So let's first start off with these receipts. Well, actually, let's first start off with a Donald Trump tweet from back in 2017. I think that'll be a better starting point. Take a look right over here. Just found out that Obama had my wires tapped in Trump Tower just before the victory. Nothing found. This is McCarthyism. And of course, Trump made that claim many times throughout his presidency. And here's how the mainstream media reacted. Watch him walk out of his store and he's walking with a ice cream. And the question the media asks him, what kind of ice cream, what flavor ice cream do you have? <laughs> and he's in the midst of a scandal. He's not. And he's taking... He's of course not. he is, no. Leslie. Come on. Of course he is. It's the biggest, second biggest scandal. So the biggest scandal was when they spied on my campaign. They spied on my well, campaign, There's Leslie. no e real evidence of that. There's no real evidence of that. The biggest lie, one of Trump's biggest lies, was that his campaign was spied on. Maybe the biggest lie of all, repeatedly, and with no facts to back him up, making the outrageous claim that the so-called deep state spied on his campaign. He did it again today. But I hope it's not true, but it looks like it is. It's not true. It's a lie. Did the intelligence community spy on, on President Trump and his campaign? Uh, no, we did not. This is not just an angry president popping off. This is a deliberate and coordinated effort to save his presidency, to cast doubt on the Russia investigation by repeating a lie, repeating it every chance he gets. And that repetition is a key part of, of the strategy here, because if you hear him say the same thing over and over and over, it gets into your head. You may even start to wonder if there's some truth to it. Well, I guess it wasn't a lie now, was it? Womp, womp, womp. To this concerning new report accusing President Obama's CIA of curating the 2016 Russia collusion hoax by asking foreign intelligence agencies to illegally spy on the mm. Trump campaign. John Brennan had identified 26 Trump associates for the Five Eyes to target. A source confirmed that the IC had identified them as people to bump or make contact with or manipulate. They were targets of our own IC and law enforcement, targets for collection and misinformation. The CIA had foreign allies spy on Trump team, triggering Russia collusion hoax, sources say. United States intelligence community targeted 26 Trump advisors for foreign spy agencies to quote, reverse target and bump. Last year, John Durham, a special prosecutor for the Department of Justice, concluded that the Federal Bureau of Investigation should never have opened its investigation of alleged collusion by then presidential candidate Donald J. Trump and Russia in late 2016. Now, multiple credible sources tell public and racket that the United States intelligence community, including the CIA, illegally mobilized foreign intelligence agencies to target Trump advisors long before the summer of 2016. The new information fills many gaps in our understanding of the Russia collusion hoax and is supported by testimony already in the public record. Until now, the official story has been that the FBI's investigation began after Australian intelligence officials told U.S. officials that a Trump aide had boasted to an Australian diplomat that Russia had damning material about Democratic presidential candidate Hillary Clinton. In truth, the U.S 
intelligence community asked the Five Eyes Intelligence Alliance to surveil Trump's associates and share the intelligence that they acquired with U.S. agencies, say sources close to a House Permanent Select Committee on Intelligence investigation. The Five Eyes nations are the U.S., the U.K., Canada, Australia, and New Zealand. After public and racket had been told that President Barack Obama's CIA director John Brennan had identified 26 associates for the Five Eyes to target, a source confirmed that the IC had identified them as people to, quote, bump or make contact with or manipulate. They were targets of our own IC and law enforcement targets for collection and misinformation. So this is still a developing story, but essentially, I mean, if we were to put this in absolute layman terms, the TLDR is that John Brennan, who was the head of the CIA during Obama's tenure, in other words, John Brennan, under Obama's leadership, ahead of the summer of 2016, well before the election, well before they got this supposed intelligence from an Australian spy, before all of it, they had already organized and mobilized a plan to essentially spy on and infiltrate Trump's campaign during the election. I'm not going to say much more because there's a lot more information that's most likely going to drop relating to this story in the coming weeks. There's supposedly a bombshell document as well. We're not going to go too much into it until we actually have the document itself, but we essentially now have insider sources blowing the lid on the whole thing. Obama weaponized the CIA to interfere in an election, to spy and infiltrate Trump's then presidential campaign, and they used foreign spies for foreign agencies to do their dirty work. That's the allegation here from insider sources, and we have been telling this story for over six years at this point. The media said we were crazy. They said we were nutcases, pushing Trump conspiracy theories. If Trump says something, we simply push the talking point, right? That's what they told us. That's generally what they say, but it turns out that there might actually be some substance here. It turns out that Obamagate may have just been real after all. As if you ever had any question, Trump's first years in office, whereas this fun functional as they come. You know, people could blame Trump for that, but I seriously don't. Trump's campaign was infiltrated by leakers. Every week, there was a new leak. A source familiar with the White House, someone working in the White House, pushing some sort of ridiculous accusation, and almost all of the stories built from Trump White House leaks ended up being completely fabricated. Maybe some of those leakers, some of those people working within the Trump cabinet at the time, were some of those 26 people targeted by intelligence agencies, part of the Five Eyes. Remember during Trump's four years, in office, Rachel Maddow kept telling us how Trump was dangerous because he was weaponizing federal agencies. Now that he's got the right attorney general in position to do it, we now know they really have been trying to gin up criminal prosecutions and criminal investigations into the president's perceived enemies. Politically motivated persecution, right? Courtesy of Bill Barr. I'll, I'll roll in the FBI on you. That's how banana republics work, right? Mr. Trump is using the Justice Department to go after his perceived enemies. I feel worried about the prospect of the Justice Department being used as a tool of this president or any. Well, that take is aged like old milk, because it turns out during the four years of the Trump administration, the only person weaponizing federal agencies was Barack Obama, Hillary Clinton, and Joe Biden. Let's not forget the unmasking of General Flynn, which Barack Obama and Joe Biden were directly involved in, or what was it, I think the 2016 or 2017 BuzzFeed leak, the P-tape. It turns out that it was all one big intelligence operation meant to interfere in the election. Now, I'm not going to go and make grandiose claims here. Maybe I'm speaking a little bit too matter-of-factly. I'm speaking more from my opinion and my perception rather than what's provable at this point. But essentially, I guess the point that I'm getting to is if this claim, this report turns out to be accurate, and if this supposed document that people are referring to to, ends up being made public, confirming it all, we may have one of the biggest political scandals in American history. There is potential proof here that Barack Obama's CIA, acting under John Brennan, broke laws relating to spying and election interference. Can anybody say October surprise? I don't know, but I guess we'll have to sit patiently and wait. We have sources that are flipping. We have the bogus MSM propaganda campaign that went on for years attempting to discredit Donald Trump's claims, but it turns out that the whole thing may have actually happened. And that's essentially today's report. Don't really want to take it much further. That's where things stand right now. And if this document ends up seeing the light of day, holy freaking moly, are things going to get absolutely wild? Another bogus fake news left-wing narrative bites the freaking dust. Anyways, that's what I got for you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and possibly subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.